If you hear fireworks in this review, um, it's our neighbors. Yes, it is. Mm -hmm. Why is that? It's 4th of July weekend. Yep. You guys, it is Saturday the 2nd right. of July 2016, and most of America has a three-day weekend. Woohoo! Yep, Independence Day. Yeah! yeah. So we're going to go ahead and showcase American Knives this mm -hmm. weekend. And we're going to start it off with our most recent knife that we bought. Yep, most recent American Knife. It just came in yesterday in the mail. Right. On pre-order. Yes. You will have already seen the title. It is the uh, the 940 in G10. Mm-hmm. First production, handles. 846 of 1,000. Kind of higher number than we wanted, but at least well, it's still it, first production. Yeah, I definitely wanted it first production when Blade HQ put these out on uh, uh, pre-order coming soon. You know, of course I had to get one. I'm a huge right. fan of the 940. Um, the viewers that have watched our channel for a little while know that this is one of my favorites, mm -hmm. the 940 design. And yeah, so I had to get the, the first production run, um, but it was frustrating. <laughs> Last week, you pointed it out, I think. Yeah, um, a lot of people were getting them before you. <laughs> yeah, we were seeing on Facebook and Instagram. By the way, join us on Instagram. <laughs> we mm -hmm. just started that account. Right. Um, yeah, but we... We saw a lot of people posting these last week, like, check out my first production G10 940. It's like, wait, well, where's mine? Yeah, wait a second. <laughs> we, we bought this, uh, well, we pre-ordered it before Blade Show. Right, yeah. Yeah, yeah, finally got it. We were mm -hmm. able to check one out at Benchmade at Blade Show, which was Yeah, cool. that was cool. Mm -hmm. Yeah, check this out. It is, I mean, it's a 940, but it's G10. So it's a little bit different than the original 940s, too. In that sense, otherwise it's basically the same. Mm -hmm. um, the blade is no different. S30V is what they've been doing for a little while. Now, this has the backspacers, which is really cool, by the way, the, the green backspacers yeah. on there. Yeah, I can't wait for my knife to, with this exact color combination. Oh, uh, yeah, different mm -hmm. knife. Also an American knife. Um, yeah, flow-through design, G10 handles. Very lightweight knife. But basically, yeah, a 940. Yeah. Um, well, let's, let's show. We're, we're no strangers to the 940, are we? Yeah, this one's still... Still in the break-in period. Yeah, you're getting it. It's getting better. Yeah. Um, guys, we don't adjust the pivots or, or do any kind of uh, lubrication yeah, at all. Like you just you break them in as they are. Here's your starter one. Oh, let me put that one up there. Yeah, let's check this guy out, okay? So, Blade Show in the year 2000 is when... Isn't that crazy? That's when these were introduced by Warren Osborne. I believe the very first ones were blue. Which I would love to get one of those. That'd be crazy. Um, well, yeah. Go ahead and flip this over. Let's show. Um, let's show about this one. This knife here. Okay, I, I'm not sure the exact date on it. It's either it's somewhere in the 2001 to 2003 range. Okay, 18 of 100 production run on these red ones. These red ones are really rare. They did yeah. a 50 production run in uh, in the first year in 2000 is my understanding, and then they did a, a second run of these. Um, later on, they had the red handles and they had the satin finish um, type of uh, type of blades, right? Sorry, um, yeah. Those okay. I, I've I've seen on Nut and Fancy's channel. He's got one of these with the satin finish blade. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Um, oh, red with like the silver. Yeah, with the satin finish blade. Mm -hmm. um, let's see. The Apostle Peace channel, he just put one out there. He had it uh, from a customer from Sharpening. I know that Dub Glock said he had one of the original 50 run, and it was stolen. Ew. That's sad. That's one can sad. only hope that a knife like that ended up back in the collector market. He can only hope. But, yeah, what else do we have there? Um, then we just have a basic green mm -hmm. Osborne, too. Yep, not a, where did you get that one at? Um, Just like a, I don't know, like a Gander Mountain, I think. Gander Mountain? I got it for you for Christmas one here. 2014, yeah. Let's check out the, uh, these are not the flow-through designs. Let's check out the backspacers on these. Oh, yeah, these are. Some color in there. Then if you flip them over, too. It's yeah, so it's a little any. different like that. The um, the carbon fiber version, which is still available, it also has this flow through design with barrel spacers, and the barrel spacers are blue. Right. Um, that's and true. yeah, that one, pretty similar in construction to the new G10 style. Let's see. Can you shine a light down in there? You can kind of see them. Really cool little detail on this knife. That was one of the selling points originally for me on this one. Yeah. Um, not a whole lot of different difference on the G10 version. Let me talk about why I. Um, Okay, so this one, 
I didn't know enough about them. I just knew that I needed to buy it. Right. You, remember, you remember the gun show? We got this uh -huh. one for $185. Yeah, it was crazy. I would have paid $300 for it back then, and I didn't even know that much about them back then. No. Mm -mm. Then I had to get another one because I realized I can't carry this one, okay? It's, <laughs> right. a, it's a collector's piece. It's going to yeah. go up in value. So this guy, don't we never carry one. No, not at all. Uh -huh. I did a little bit, but I never cut anything with it. I'd always use a, a, a neck knife. Um, this one here, you got me for Christmas because I loved it. Right. And then I was thinking, okay, I'll carry this one. Mm -hmm. Still didn't carry it. Yes. <laughs> You've seen them up close, Frankie, at the mm -hmm. gun shows. A well-worn 940. Yeah. They scratch, they scuff. Yeah, they, um, they do. don't scratch super easily, but they can scratch and they get mm -hmm. a worn look, which is kind of cool. If you if you hard use your 940, that's great. I could just never do it. Right. Well, and it's well, it's aluminum, so it does scratch really easily. Well, it's an, it's a hard anodized aluminum. Mm -hmm. I wouldn't say that it scratches easily. But compared to something like G10, yeah. no, this is going to wear extremely well. This knife here, I bought with the intentions to actually finally carry. <laughs> <laughs> I'll believe it when I see it. <laughs> right, I know. And the only thing that may keep me back is that it's a first production. Case. <laughs> <True>. no, <laughs> I'm already making excuses. Yeah, the 940 is one of my favorite all-time uh, carry knives. Right. It, well, mm -hmm. if you saw our um, Pick 5 video... You'll yep. notice that this knife made it in my five, last five choices of a knife ever. Okay. Right. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, I'll tell you what, with the addition of this one, I might just have two 940s if we did that again. <laughs> yeah, that's you true. You know, maybe so. Uh -huh. Yeah. Here's the way I put it for me, okay? And they're almost maybe, maybe a little bit small for my hands. Yeah, probably a touch. The 940s carry extremely well. They're relatively thin. I think it's 0.41 handle width, which is relatively thin. They weigh, they all weigh less than three ounces. This one's, I think these are like 2.8, 2.9. This mm. one's like 2.7. Oh, the carbon fiber mm -hmm. version, which should be here. I wish it was. Yeah, we'll um, it. That one's like 2.4 or something ridiculous. Yeah, they're, they're, but they're very light. They carry extremely well. For this, for the size of the knife, you actually really get a lot of cutting surface on the blade, don't you? Yeah, you really do. It has a nice, nice shape to it. A little bit of belly up. Towards the tip, it's considered a reverse tanto on that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, these are some of my favorite knives. I was a little surprised you never kind of came around to these knives. I know. They're just a little big for me, honestly. Yeah. Just a touch. A touch. But what knife did get you? Um, my Let me show you. See, this was this was my introduction to Benchmade was this knife. And then you guys have seen from there, we've gotten more and more. Oh, yeah. The Nakamura. Mm -hmm. That is Frankie's 940. That was her intro to Benchmade. And I've just got. <laughs> well, show show both of them. You got you got a couple of them. I got, and then I got my first production too. Yeah, go ahead and lay that one out. There you go, guys. 433 of 750. We got that at a gun show. Mm -hmm. That's your favorite. Yep. Well, it's, it made your top five too, didn't it? It, it really does because I mean, this these are just. I know you like to just sit Go and play with these guys. Go ahead and set one out so we can see the, uh, yeah, so we can see the difference in, in They're size. They're a little bit thicker. It's one of the ultimate fondling knives. Either one of these. Oh really. my gosh! Yeah. It is so much fun just to play and like. Yeah, the axis lock on this guys. I mean, this is the this is the original axis lock. Is Benchmade okay? Um, they're so smooth. They they just you can use both fingers, but Frankie, you just use your thumb, I don't use you? My thumb, yeah. yeah, they're they're that light. Okay. Um, extremely fun fondling knives but when it comes to getting stuff done they can do it the original 940s had the 154 cm which at that time was a was a pretty high-tech steel okay it's a non-powdered steel though on into the uh more recent years we see s30v mm -hmm. you can see that there and that's what the new one is too let's see if i can let me stamp that up in there yeah and i was a little surprised they're still going with the s30v on the brand new ones um, and uh, there's nothing against S30V. It's a great steel. Okay, wh what is this one? That's the... M390. M390. I think this is um, S90V. Yeah. Those are some high-end steels. Those two steels, okay? Now, with S30V, I feel like, okay, it's a powdered steel. It was one of the first, like, pure knife steels, right? Mm -hmm. I feel like it's a little outdated, though, in the sense that... So with with S thirty five VN, that's kind of like evolution two of S thirty V. Right. It's it's slightly tougher because we've seen these knives. Well, not these knives. We've seen knives in S thirty V for sharpening, and they come in. They come in chipped. Yeah. You know? that's it, not it, has, good. it has a little bit of tendency to chip. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, but it could be the user's fault. But uh, yeah, the, the S thirty five VN. Right. I feel like you know it's evolution two of S thirty V, but still a very very good steel. So be cautious with what you cut. 
A little bit, mm -hmm. perhaps, yeah. Just know that it has that potential to right. chip, but still a very high quality steel. I'd choose it over many others. But yeah, Warren Osborne is the designer. This is Nakamura, of course. I know, yeah. Um, oh, yeah. Warren Osborne, he died. Um, just this year. I think it was this year, or it was just, you know, this last winter. Mm -hmm. And yeah, very sad. The, um, well, certainly Benchmade lost a lot of good, you know. Well, yeah, it was actually really cool at the Blade other. Show. They had like a whole display of all of the Warren Osborne knives so it's there's pretty cool the, there's some of those fireworks yeah <laughs> yeah that's that's our other osborne design mm -hmm. um also the rift let's see the emissary i don't know a bunch of different designs yeah Warren osborne i'm glad to see them keeping the 940 going really the only difference on this one yeah it's it's g10 i'm not going to be afraid to carry it as much i think it's going to wear very well <laughs> besides this little stamp right here <laughs> i know yeah yeah so, um, we need to get a carbon fiber one so you can use it <laughs> <laughs> it's not stamped, yeah. yeah. Um, yeah That's perhaps. Exactly I, I'm, mine. I'm, I'm I, like, I promise you, yeah. I will use this one. Yes, okay. yes. Um, if they ever do discontinue the 940, the prices are going to go up. Yeah, on this. that will be a sad day when they actually discontinue. It will, but at the same time, we'll. We'll They'll probably have get, to replace it with something else. We'll probably get at least. We're always keeping our eyes uh, eyes open for a 940. Mm -hmm. um, some of the older versions. So yeah, we'll probably get at least one more. But if they ever discontinue them, the price will go up on these. That's true. Mm -hmm. Probably Osborne designs in general. Yeah, I bet they will. Yeah. Remember that Contigo they had there, that uh, that carbon fiber? Oh, yeah. At, we're talking about a Blade show. Mm -hmm. uh, maybe I'll show a picture of that if I can yeah. find it. But, Send yeah, a pic put a picture in. That'd be awesome. Yeah, that's the 940. That was my intro to Benchmade. And Frankie followed me a year or two later mm -hmm. with the Nam Nakamura. But right. highly recommend this, guys, um, <laughs> as an EDC. It's kind of like if, if you just stumbled in on this video and you watched this far and you're not really into knives or you just want to get one good knife, this is one good yeah. knife. Yeah, get a, get a 940 this for is, sure. Yeah, if you, it, and you're done. You don't need anything else. This mm -hmm. is your one good EDC knife. It'll do everything you need it to. And it will get you used to the fondling of the access lock. <laughs> the access lock, yep. Yeah, you will play with this knife in your spare time. Yeah, Absolutely. for sure. Yeah. <laughs> it's so much fun. Just thought we'd show that off. Very smooth on that G10, but uh, yeah. Yeah, I love the feel of the G10. It's just a nice... It's, I, I almost it's wouldn't have guessed it. It's rounded, too, oh, so yeah, it's, yeah. it's a little bit softer than these ones, mm -hmm. like the edges, I noticed. So yeah, it's actually are... almost got less grip than the aluminum. Yeah, so it's rounded on the front there, rounded on the edges. It's just... I think it'll be a little bit more hard use, though. Well, yeah, and it just grip. You Not that you good... can't with these, but yeah. You can't, but you won't. I won't. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe you guys will. Yeah. I'm anticipating the um, the run to come to an end at some point with the with the uh, 940. So. Yeah, yeah. It, it does have a really nice feel to it. Yeah, for sure. All right. Well, that's it, guys. That's the 940, the new G10. Get them while you can. By the way, they mm -hmm. are the least expensive 940s I've seen. That's awesome. Um, at 170 dollars. Whoa, yeah. that's a yeah. good deal. Anyway, I think that's everything. You got anything else, Frankie? No, happy 4th of July weekend. Yeah, or if you're watching this in the future, um, happy whatever day it is. Mm -hmm. <laughs> happy Wednesday. <laughs> I don't yeah. know. <laughs> All right, thanks a lot, guys. Bye.